just your first impression. Are you coming off the cloud yet? <laughs> yes. What do you see down there below you? It's a large sort of a spacecraft. A large spacecraft. Mm-hmm. But just, it's mm -hmm. sort of almost antique, the mm -hmm. way that like, like there's lots of moving parts and things. Mm -hmm. Describe it for me. It's sort of cylindrical mm -hmm. with a narrower top for it, and it's sort of pointing towards the land at an unusual angle. Mm -hmm. doesn't really make sense to be that way, but that's sort of how it's landed, like at a 45 degree mm -hmm. angle. What shape does this shape of the spacecraft have? It's very, its overall shape is like a large cylinder mm -hmm. and then a narrower cylinder at what feels like the front, but the front is pointing in to the ground. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there's lots of moving parts and at like um, kind of like flaps and squares and things. Mm -hmm. What color is this spacecraft? Gray, black. Mm -hmm. Almost like it looks old. It looks old. Mm -hmm. And where are you seeing this spacecraft from? From slightly above. Um, yeah, slightly, slightly above. Mm -hmm. So are you in space also, or are you on the ground? No more, just above the ground. Okay. And the sky is orange. The sky is orange. Okay. Fish, like a sunset. Mm-hmm. And do you feel that you have a body where you are? Not necessarily. Okay. I feel that there are lots of people and activity. Mm -hmm. It's not necessarily happy, but it's not necessarily sad mm -hmm. or dangerous. Okay. Tell me more about this place. Look around you and describe everything that you see. It feels highly populated, mm -hmm. like very city-ish, like there's no naturalness, it's all built. Mm -hmm. And there's, it's bustly, bustling. Yes. It feels not, I can't tell if it's the future or the past. Mm -hmm. Well, don't think about it. I just want you to report to me what you see and what you experience. So as you're focusing in more on this, I want you to just allow your breath to clear up some of the things that you're questioning and be able to really focus on the people and the objects around you and bring them into focus. And as you do, you'll be able to see who these people are, what they look like, how they're dressed. Allow yourself to focus. And what do you see? Like people are going about, I can't say any specific people, it just feels like civilization. Mm -hmm. And it feels like things are going on, it's normal, mm -hmm. and yet this giant spaceship is at this funny angle. Mm -hmm. But it's not like a crash there, it's like it's just parked at 45 degrees. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that you have something to do with this spaceship? No. Mm -hmm. Are you an observer? Mm -hmm. Okay. The people that are around you, do they notice the spaceship? It seems to be just part of normal life that mm -hmm. it's there, but it's the largest thing on the horizon. Mm -hmm. What else do you see on the horizon? It's pretty flat, and I can't see anything specifically, but I feel all this gray, square, urban shapes, and I feel the activity of many people mm -hmm. or whatever the civilization is. Yes, yes. And it all seems very sort of mundane in a weird way, but mm -hmm. not very beautiful. Yes. And you said that this place wasn't very happy, but wasn't very sad. Do you feel it's people don't have much emotion in this place? Yes, I do feel that. Mm hmm Sort of just a normal day with this giant thing parked on the horizon. Mm -hmm. well, let's find out what this thing is, why don't we? I want you to close that scene. Close that scene and now open it to where you know what this spacecraft is.
Ooh, there's some activity. Well, it's landed. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Can you get closer to it? There's lots of mechanical whirring, just like many, many machine things doing their machine work. Mm -hmm. Flaps and windows and blinds and like it seems over complicated. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's, I can't, mm -hmm. maybe it's not being used anymore, but I feel like it doesn't feel like it's going to move again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And who, who do you imagine is operating this? I don't know who operates it. I, I feel one sort of masculine presence. All right. So let's connect with that masculine presence. Allow yourself to connect. Oh, he's a captain. Mm hmm. Tell me more. Allow the images to come. There's a jacket with cap capulets on the shoulders. Mm hmm. But it all seems sort of old fashioned in a weird way. Mm hmm. What is his appearance like? His features? Sideburns. Sideburns, mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. I just feel, don't, I don't feel any emotions at all. Mm-hmm. Can you get anything else from him? He's just doing his job. Mm -hmm. Are there any other people on this craft? I feel presences of just people going about work. Mm -hmm. I don't feel a particular drive. I also can't, um, I don't know why they would be there considering it's part mm -hmm. or something. Mm -hmm. And it seems peculiar that it, the top of it faces into the earth without that being a problem, but. Mm -hmm. What else do you feel that this craft is doing? I don't know if it's colonizing or It's sort of just this very built thing amongst a very built landscape. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, do you see anything else unusual in this scene? Just the orange sunset. Orange sunset. Do you feel that this orange is part of the atmosphere? Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, so close that scene now. Close that scene behind you. Now let's go to another important day in that same lifetime. Tell me what's happening. Where are you? I feel trees. Mm-hmm, feel trees. Are you in a different place? I can't really tell but it feels like it might be the same place at a different time. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's see if you have a body now. Focus in on your body. Do you feel male or female there? I don't feel anything. This okay. Mm-hmm. I feel like I'm trying to think of things. It's okay. That's okay. Do you feel like you're just consciousness? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Right now I'm witnessing trees spontaneously growing fast. Mm -hmm. What else? Like a planet populating itself with trees. Mm -hmm. Tell me the whole development as it happens. Big pine trees are sort of just bursting through the earth and growing spontaneously. Mm -hmm. A 
That's all I can tell. Look at the sky. What does it look like now? It's blue. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that there's any water in this place? Somewhere. Mm -hmm. I'm amongst this unusually fast growing trees. Mm -hmm. Very good. Let's close that scene. Close it behind you. Now let's go to another scene in that same lifetime. Tell me where you are. So let's close that now. Close that. And now we're going to go drifting and floating again through time and space. Allow yourself to just breathe and feel that beautiful calmness of just traveling through time to find the answers that you're looking for. Drifting and floating. And tell me what you see. Where are you? I feel like I'm still actually in my own mind. Like mm -hmm. I'm not quite yet able to suspend. That's okay. That's okay. Allow yourself to go deeper. Feel yourself going deeper. Every breath that you take will have you go ten times deeper. Feel yourself going down. Another deep breath in. More relaxed. Beautiful feeling as you drift and float through time. I want you to go back to that beautiful beach where you started. See yourself there with that water in front of you. All the foliage around you, and the interesting rock formations look all around you. And as you are on that beautiful beach, I want you to start going back into that forest behind you. I want you to create a path, create a path for that forest. And as you go through it, you'll notice the crunching of the leaves below your feet. Smell the trees. The atmosphere changes and gets cooler as you go through the forest. You might hear a bird. You see the browns of the tree trunks, the green of the leaves. And you hear a little stream on the left side of you. And you'll notice that there is a little stream becoming a little river as you walk down this path. The sounds of the water get louder and you start feeling the different terrain in front of you changing. It begins to slope down and you notice that there's a waterfall on the left side there at the end. And behind the waterfall is a little path as you go down towards that waterfall. Sneak in behind, behind it and you will see a big opening. Go inside the opening. And as you go in there, you'll notice that there is a cave with a pathway. It's illuminated by magic on the left side of the cave, you'll see different doors on the left hand side. Each door looks a little bit different. As you walk through this cave, I'd like for you to stop in front of the door that looks most interesting to you and tell me what it looks like. It's red mm -hmm. and it's round on top. It's kind of old. Mm -hmm. 
and the doorknob is on the right, and it's a tarnished kind of brass. Mm-hmm. How does it open, in or out? Opens in. Mm-hmm. So I'd like for you to open that door and tell me what's on the other side. It's dark, but there's wind. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. Feels expansive. Mm-hmm. Almost like it drops out beneath me. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about this place. It's just very black and it feels like if I stepped in it would just be air. Mm -hmm. But there's a strong wind. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to, for you to take a leap of faith and allow yourself to just float into that space. Feel that beautiful feeling of just floating into it. And tell me what happens. Pinpoint of light. A pinpoint of light. Mm -hmm. Down. And I'm trying to follow it down. Good. Does this pinpoint of light change? It's getting a little bigger and it's blue. Mm, beautiful. Allow yourself to drift closer to it. It's a little bit of a vortex and it wants me to go there. Mm -hmm. Allow yourself to go. Tell me what happens. Sliding down it quickly and I landed in the ocean. Mm-hmm. Nice. <laughs> Tell me what's there. It's the center of the ocean. So if you've landed on the ocean, you must have a body. Yeah, just me, floating. Mm -hmm. Very good. My head above the water. So let's see where you go. One underwater. Mm -hmm. Let's see what's under there. Tell me everything you see. I'm swimming down. Very vast and blue. Mm -hmm. Notice if your body is any different. Notice your legs. What do they look like? It's hard to leave myself as I know myself. Mm -hmm. Just allow yourself to let go and imagine. It's all in the imagination. What do your feet look like as you're swimming? Do you have anything on your feet? I can imagine them as, say, a fin, but I don't feel like, I feel like I'm what do you imagine it to be? I imagine it to be something like a mermaid tail. Mm-hmm. All right. So let's take some some time to focus on it. Well, let's see what your imagination can see. What do you imagine it to look like? Green and scaled. Mm-hmm. And then it can move very fast under the water. Tell me more. I just feel the water going past really fast. Mm -hmm. Look at your hands and tell me what your hands look like. What do you imagine your hands to look like? Wet. Mm -hmm. How many fingers do you have? Four. Mm -hmm. Tell me what else do you see that's interesting? 
looking for something. Let's see what you find. Tell me everything you see. Just water and the vague shadows of coral and things. Mm -hmm. What do you imagine you do down there? What's your mission? I don't know, I still feel like I'm me trying to swim. Mm -hmm. I feel like my face is sort of kind of frog-like. Mm -hmm. Like a rounded snail nostrils. Mm -hmm. Very good. Sort of amphibian. Mm -hmm. What else do you imagine? What's your hair look like? Oh, hair. Mm -hmm. Just smooth. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you're male or female? Male. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. I'm just swimming along. Mm -hmm. I want to go deeper. Let's go. But it's hard to imagine. Mm -hmm. Just allow yourself to do this. Allow yourself to let go and play. Play along. Feel the playfulness. Of the ocean, being able to move, go wherever you need to go. Looks like a deeper trench that I want to go down into. Mm -hmm. Let's see what's in that deeper trench. Try to get all the way to the center of the earth. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you see along the way. Little things floating past, like little points of light, like plankton and things. Mm -hmm. It's very dark down there. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that you can tolerate the cold? Yes, it didn't. The temperature doesn't register. Mm-hmm. What emotion do you feel as you as you swim in this beautiful place? I'm curious. Mm-hmm. Well, let's see what we find. You can advance it to see what, where you finally end up. Down at the bottom, it's narrow. Mm -hmm. Steep cliffs rise up like a chasm. Mm -hmm. It's a very narrow band of sandy earth, but the walls of the chasm are so close together that I can barely fit through. Mm -hmm. It feels like I land in the sand. Mm -hmm. I'm just at the bottom of the chasm, and it's like a path between these two narrow walls. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to walk along this little path. Let's see like, where this chasm goes. Mm -hmm. Everything is sort of Kind of murky, but the blue light of just deep in the water. Mm -hmm. What do you experience?
twisting and curving mm -hmm. between these two very close walls. Mm -hmm. I'm not uncomfortable. You're not uncomfortable? Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Let's see where they go. Taking sharp turns. Mm -hmm. And then I hit the face of a wall. Mm -hmm. Like it's just like I'm amongst these deep underwater cliffs. Mm -hmm. And it just ended. There's no, no ending there. Sort of just like I reached the end of this mm -hmm. narrow chasm. Mm -hmm. How does it feel? Do you feel disappointed? Yes. Mm -hmm. What were you looking for? wanted it to lead to something more interesting. <laughs> mm -hmm. So let's close that scene and let's go to another adventure where you took in that lifetime. Allow yourself to close that scene and let's go to where you find something very interesting. Be there. I leapt out of the water mm -hmm. and back in again, but I saw a ship, a boat. You saw a ship? Mm -hmm. Like an old-fashioned, like a large... Mm -hmm. Tell me more about that. It has many masts and two sails. Like a big old schooner kind of thing. Mm -hmm. How far can you jump out of the water? It's not very far, maybe a few feet. Mm -hmm. And then back in again. Mm -hmm. And does anybody see you? No. Nope. Is this the first time you see something like that? I don't feel particularly surprised. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. What happens with this? It's bustling with people doing their work on this boat. Mm -hmm. it's sort of spinning around to see a different vantage point of it. Mm -hmm. How close are you to this ship? Maybe 20 feet. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking at the back of it. How are the people dressed on this ship? Simple. Mm -hmm. What happens next? I see some of the ropes and riggings. Smell the sea. I hear seagulls. Maybe it's just a scene from The Little Mermaid, though. I don't want you to judge it. I want you just to report what you see. Sort of spinning around to see the sort of like my vantage point is more above the water and it's sort of spinning to kind of see it from all sides. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that you can leave the water? You can breathe outside of the water? Yeah, I feel like I'm above the water now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So let's see what happens. I want you to advance the scene to see what happens. Standing on the deck of the ship mm -hmm. and looking down, I feel like I have bare feet, like mm -hmm. people feet. Okay. Like man's feet. I'm wearing cut off, like kind of jean, kind of ragged pants. Okay. What do you do on the ship? I'm not sure. I think something very simple and common. I'm used to the feeling of rope in my hands. Mm hmm Okay. Tell me what happens now. Do 
Tell me what's interesting about this scene. What happens here? Do you feel that you're the same merman? Or a different person? Different person. Okay. It's like one of the crew. Okay. So let's advance the scene to see what's happening in this lifetime that's important. What information it has to give you. It's wrapping the rope around a tie. Wiping my hands off on my sides. Mm -hmm. What kind of ship is this? What does it do? Um, it seems to be like not a fishing vessel, but like an exploratory vessel. Mm -hmm. I think it's headed somewhere. It's not sure where. Mm -hmm. uh, I brush off my hands and I go down below deck. Mm-hmm. What's down there? It's dimmer light. Creaky. Mm-hmm. The light comes through a little, like, around the seal of, like, hatches and things. Mm-hmm. It's quieter down there than it is above. Mm-hmm. Are there less people? Yes. Mm-hmm. What do you do down there, below the deck? I go up to some barrels. What's in the barrels? Water? Mm-hmm. Some they're dusty. There's a spigot. Get some water. How old do you feel there? Twenties. Mm-hmm. How long do you feel that you've been on the on this ship? Four months. Four months. Do you know what they call you there? Albert. Albert. Mm-hmm. Albert, what country did you come from? Mm-hmm. Where are you heading? The new world. Mm-hmm. What's your, what's your mission on this ship? What are you supposed to be doing in the new world? I'm a deckhand. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you know why it's going to the new world? It just wants to see what there is to see. Mm-hmm. But it's a large ship. There's lots of things. Mm -hmm. It doesn't feel full of anything yet. Okay. But there's supplies and such. Very good. So, Albert, close that scene. Close that scene, and now let's go to the moment where you arrive at the new world. Look around you. It's on the shore, and it's lots of activity. Mm -hmm. What do you see on the shore? I don't see anyone yet, but I feel that people are watching mm -hmm. from the trees. Mm -hmm. And we're concerned with our fastening, like battening down the boat and getting it situated. Mm hmm. Hustle and bustle. Mm -hmm. Is there any fear of what you find there? No. Not yet. Okay. So let's move ahead now. Move ahead. To when something happens. Um. Walking through the forest, all separately, but in a group kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. It's 
sort of fanning out. Mm, brush is high. It's a little bit tropical still. Mm -hmm. feel lots of eyes in the darkness at between the trees. Mm -hmm. How does that make you feel? I don't know if I necessarily know about it as walking, but I don't feel menace necessarily. Mm -hmm. Are you armed? No. Mm -hmm. Tell me what happens next. Clearing? Mm-hmm. Are you clearing land? No, we sort of came out of some of the trees to a clearing. Mm-hmm. What's there? It's just open pasture. Sort of idyllic. Mm hmm. You like what you see? Yeah, it feels peaceful. Mm hmm. Good. Is there anything else in the scene that looks important? No. Okay, so let's close that, Albert. And let's now move ahead to another important scene in that same lifetime. Move ahead. Tell me what happens. We've built lots of things. What kind of things? Wooden structures. Mm -hmm. Everybody's building because it's very brand new. Like, just making a new place to be. Mm -hmm. How many of you are on the ship? Let's say a hundred. Mm -hmm. Have you seen any anybody who lives there? Not that I know of. Mm -hmm. Do you feel any presence there? Well, I feel like those that I was with there have just been building. Mm -hmm. The weather is nice. Mm -hmm. Very good. All right, let's close that scene. Let's move again to another time. Move it up further to where something important is happening. There's a woman with dark hair. Mm -hmm. What does she look like? Fair skin. Her hair is up. Who is this woman? Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. She has a dress on though, like more like city clothes. Mm -hmm. An old fashioned with a, like a bustle. Mm -hmm. Seems out of place there. Mm. It's okay. What's Elizabeth doing there? Oh, she's holding my hand. Mm -hmm. Who is she to you? Friend. Mm -hmm. Is she your same age? Yes. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what happens with Elizabeth. Move ahead. Walking, but it feels more civilized there now. Mm -hmm. Except now we're now walking on like cobblestones. Mm -hmm. Very good. We're in a city, but now we're married. Mm -hmm. What is this place called? I'm not sure. There's I see horse and carriage. I can hear them. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about 
about what you're doing there? The street is sort of rutted, like kind of worn in the middle. Mm -hmm. And we're walking down it. What else happens? Seem to be walking towards a river. That's like where there's a bridge. She has a necklace on. Mm-hmm. How were you dressed? I want to say... I feel like I see black trousers. Mm-hmm. Sort of dapper. What they, do they call you there? Albert. Mm -hmm. Okay. Albert, what is it that you do for a living? Not sure. I have a gold watch, though. Mm -hmm. Seem to be wearing a hat. Mm -hmm. Focus in and see what it is that you do for a living. Banker. Mm -hmm. Do you have any children? No. How was your life? Are you happy? I feel content. Okay. Very good. All right, leave that scene now. Close it behind you. Now let's go. When you're older, then something important has happened. Where are you? I'm in bed. Mm -hmm. How old do you feel there? 80. Mm -hmm. What's happening, Albert? It seems to be the end of my life. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that you're sick? No. Mm -hmm. Just in bed. Who's around you? Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. I want you to take a look at Elizabeth's eyes. The eyes, the windows, the soul. See if you recognize those eyes in someone in Kate's life. The eyes never change. Steve? Mm -hmm. Very good. So I want you now to get to the last moment of your life. Taking your last breath. And as you transition, I want you to think about your life. Every life has a purpose and lessons. What do you imagine your life to be? What was it about? It's just simple. Mm -hmm. A simple life. It's about being content. Mm -hmm. Did you learn any lessons from that life? Just to follow my heart. Mm -hmm. Make simple choices. Very good. So Albert, go ahead and transition all the way. And as you leave that body behind, what thoughts do you have? Goodbye. Mm -hmm. So I want you to go ahead and leave and tell me where you go next. Up. Mm -hmm. Tell me what it looks like. Clouds. Moving quickly. Mm -hmm. Towards kind of golden light. Very good. Go towards that light. Let me know who greets you. No. Just a form. Mm, form. Very good. How does it feel? Silhouette. Very good. Allow yourself to connect with that form. 
Allow yourself to connect telepathically. Communicate with it. And allow it to tell you who it is. If it has a name, it's to give you a name. So it's Gollum. Gollum, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ask him why it takes that shape of Gollum. Still just a black silhouette. Mm -hmm. Did it tell you its name was Gollum? No, he hasn't said anything to me. Mm -hmm. How does it feel? How does he feel to you? It's sort of masculine. Mm -hmm. What impression do you get from him? Stern. Stern. Mm hmm. Let's see if you can communicate with him. Ask him what's the next step. Go higher. Go higher. Good. So tell me what happens as you go higher. Space. Mm -hmm. Describe it for me. What do you see? That vast blackness, mm -hmm. space, points of light. Mm -hmm. Focus on yourself and see what you look like. Do you have a form? No. Mm -hmm. Do you have a color? Blue. Blue. Mm -hmm. Very good. So as you travel in this vastness of space, see if you see any any lights or anything that call to you. Red planet. A red planet. Very good. Let's go towards that red planet and see what happens. It's getting larger. Mm -hmm. Looks like Jupiter. Jupiter, very good. What do you feel from this planet? It's sort of gaseous and swirly. Mm -hmm. How does it feel to you? Does it feel familiar? No, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Sort of powdery. Powdery? Mm -hmm. Are you getting close to it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tell me everything that happened. Getting closer, going through the atmosphere. I see the big red dot. Mm -hmm. I want to go towards that. I'm running through the atmosphere, sort of gray and different sort of powdery colors. I'm aware that it's sort of intense of like sulfur and minerally. Mm -hmm. How big is this red dot now? It fills my vision. Mm -hmm. I kind of want to swirl around it. Mm -hmm. Like cir circumnavigate it, sort of. Mm -hmm. What do you see? It's hazy, it's sort of hot. I'm sort of spiraling. 
Do you feel like you could land on this planet? Kind of. Mm -hmm. Let's see what's there. Feels big and flat, like a pink flat. Mm hmm. Reddish platform. Mm hmm. What else do you see? It's wide open. It's, it's, I mean, the haziness is above me, and it's. Sort of a large, mm -hmm. oval, flat platform. What is this platform for? I'm not sure. Let's find out. Landing pad? Mm hmm. Allow yourself to advance to see what lands on that platform. Well, it's like a spaceship, but it's quite small. Mm hmm. Smaller than me. What shape is it? It's smooth and um, elliptical. Mm -hmm. Sort of featureless, mm -hmm. quite small. Mm -hmm. And it just sort of lands in front of me. Let's see what happens. It sort of separates the top from bottom, lifts up mm -hmm. in half around the widest part of the ellipse. Almost sort of deconstructing itself, like popping apart. Mm -hmm. Feels like there are small beings in there. What do they look like? It's tiny, tiny sort of featureless little, littles, <laughs> littles, mm -hmm. like little, um, they're featureless like this, sh like the little ship is featureless, like mm. they're soft mm -hmm. and sort of uh, like a yellow tannish. They don't have any features, any facial features? Mm mm. Do they, what's their bodies look like? Like they're just like an organic, featureless. Mm hmm. Do they have hands or feet? Mm mm. Are they blobby? Yeah. Mm hmm. Like little blobs? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. How do they move around? They just do. Mm hmm. <laughs> How many are there? Five? Five of them. Mm -hmm. Can you get anything from them as you connect to them? Well, benevolence. Mm -hmm. What do you think they're doing there? We're supposed to meet. Mm -hmm. Do they have a message for you? Yes. Mm -hmm. Would you repeat what their message is? Do this. Do this? <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. I tell them they're very small. Mm hmm. And they laugh at me. I expected something bigger. Mm hmm. I'm wondering about what the different parts of the little ship do. Mm -hmm. Let's find out. Have them tell you. Communication. Mm -hmm. Sort of hatches. They want me to listen, but I don't know how. Allow yourself to connect with them telepathically, mind to mind. Allow them to feed the thoughts into your mind. And as they give you the words, just repeat them.
May I ask them the questions? Yes, please. Mm -hmm. Why have you brought this woman here today? Clarification. Clarification. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me what that means? Where does she come from? Here. Mm -hmm. From Jupiter? I suppose. Mm -hmm. And what is her natural form in Jupiter? Does she have one? Organic also. Organic also? Mm hmm. What was the message she was supposed to receive? She felt that she got a download, heard something in 2012. Was that you? No. Hmm. Integration. Integration. Okay. What is it that you want to tell her? You said you want some clarification. We're bringing clarification. You're bringing clarification. Can you tell her what that is? Seed. A seed. Mm -hmm. Of knowledge. Seed of knowledge. What is she supposed to do with this knowledge? It's in her body. Mm -hmm. How does the seed grow? Examination. With what? Awareness. Insemination with awareness? Examination. Oh, examination. With awareness. Is she doing that now? Yes. Mm -hmm. What kind of knowledge are we talking about? History. Mm -hmm. of, of which location? Everything. Mm -hmm. What else? She'll find it. When she's ready. When she's ready. She's good. Mm hmm. What is her mission on Earth now? Subtlety. Subtlety. What does that mean? The subtle things are important. Okay. Well, right now she's working with Mosaic. Is that something that is helping her with this knowledge? Yes. Mm -hmm. In what way? Putting things together. Mm -hmm. One moment at a time. Would you do a body scan on her to see how her health is? Her left jaw. What's going on with that? I don't know. There's a point of agitation. Mm-hmm. Could you put some energy in there and see if it changes? Can you tell me what's there? It's 
Does it have any discoloration in her light? Interference. Interference. Mm -hmm. Where is this interference coming from? It's a disturbance of... It's a wavering. Mm -hmm. Like a pulsing. What's causing that? Could you check to see if there's any implant there? Yes. Mm -hmm. Where is this implant? Where is it from? Who connected that implant in there? Darkness. Darkness. Can we remove that implant? Yes. All right. Would you do that? Encapsulate it and remove it. And see if anything changes. Diminished. Diminished, okay. Would you continue to work on it? We want that implant completely taken out. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I'd like the angels of the light to stand by to see if they can be in an assistance, encapsulating any any darkness that is interfering with her. How does it look now? Small and concentrated. Okay. Can we pluck that out? Yes. All right. Can you tell the origin of this implant, where it came from? It's metallic mm -hmm. in nature. Mm -hmm. Let's get it completely out. Looks like a metal sphere. Mm hmm Shiny and very dense. Mm hmm So let's get it out. Dissolve it. Or pluck it out. Whatever it takes. Mm hmm Let me know what you're doing. It's it's like a something between like a ball bearing and like a BB, like a mm -hmm. very dense met metal. Mm -hmm. And you say it was pulsing? It was, but now it's condensed down to this. Good. Let's totally dissolve that. We don't want anything interfering with her creativity and her free will. You got it? It's dust. Very good. Very good. If you can just shine some light on there to heal it, I'd appreciate it. And can you look at the rest of her body and see if you could find anything else? What else do you see? If you can check out her thyroid area. It's 
dark. Mm-hmm. What's going on there? Are there any influences in there? There's a dark haze. Mm-hmm. Would you allow me to connect with that haze and find out what it is? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to put my hand over your, your throat area. And as I do, allow that voice of that dark ha haze to come up. Good evening. Hello. Are you male or female energy? Male. Male, huh? But what may I call you? Haze. Haze. Haze, how long have you been there? Always. Always. What has caused you to be in her throat? I don't want her to say everything. Why not? Because... I'm supposed to block it. Mm -hmm. Hayes, are you part of her? Or are you an outsider? Outside. Mm -hmm. Who sent you there? Or did you come on your own accord? I'm just here. Mm -hmm. Just doing your job? As a, as a, as a gateway that's closed. Mm -hmm. Where is this gateway supposed to go to? A gateway to her conduit. Mm -hmm. So why have you attached to her? Just trying to hinder information. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Who gave you that job? Someone's got to do it. Mm -hmm. Why is she? Does she have an important job to do? Yes. Mm -hmm. What kind of job is that? Helping the light. Mm. And you don't want to help the light? No. Why not? Someone has to make it work harder. Ah, I see. Hayes, do you realize that you're from the light? I suppose. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't you like to be more of the light? I guess, but then what? Then you'd be part of the light. Then you'd be able to explore and do whatever you need to for the light. But then how would the light do new things? Well, right now she needs to be able to express herself. And Hayes, this is a free will planet. She came here with a mission and it's not up to you to stop her. Do you realize that this planet is a free will planet? Sure. Mm-hmm. So you haven't allowed her to do her free will. Which means you have free will too. And if you have free will, then you can be able to do other things too. Hayes, I'm going to ask you to look inside of you and find that light and expand that light. Feel yourself filling up with light. And as you fill up with light, you'll understand that you're not here to help the darkness. You're here to be part of the light. Feel yourself filling up. And tell me how that feels. It's different. Mm -hmm. Allow yourself to feel more and more light. And once you focus on that light, working for the darkness doesn't seem so much fun anymore. It gives you a new purpose. To be the light. How would you like to go to the light and feel that complete wholeness with it? it seems like more fun. Alright. So are you ready to leave and go to the light? Okay. All right, but I'm going to have you help, get some help for you. I'm going to ask my angels of the light to encapsulate you, to feel that light totally from them. Feel them completely surrounding you in a capsule of light. 
tell me what you feel with that love. Warmer. Mm-hmm. Now, inside of her throat, what does it look like with your connections? It's a dark gray fog. Mm-hmm. I'd like you to start removing that fog. Clear that fog from her. Bring it all out. And Kate, I want you to tell me what it looks like as it starts to change. Like when the sun goes through a cloud. Mm -hmm. I want you to use whatever you can to think of to blow that fog out. Maybe it's like a leaf blower. I want you to see yourself blowing that fog right out of your throat. See yourself clearing it out. Don't leave any crevices inside. Nothing hidden. Use whatever you need to use to blow that fog away. And tell me what it looks like as you're doing it. Black smoke. Mm -hmm. So let's get it out. Get rid of that fog. Perhaps you want to take another machine and just suck up all that blackness. Whatever method works, let me know what you're using. I have a vacuum. Mm -hmm. Very good. So allow it to suck up all of that black fog. Don't leave any, any of it behind. Tell me when you have it all. Okay. All right, very good. So Hayes, I want you to take that vacuum bag full of your black haze smoke, and I want you to go up through the crown of her head right here, and I'm going to have Archangel Michael t take you up into the light, leaving her behind. And tell me, Hayes, when you've completely let go of her. Mm -hmm. Very good, very good. So now I'd like for Archangel Raphael, who's standing by always, and have him in, fill that space with that beautiful light of his. <sighs> fill that space, heal it. Don't allow any, any leaks in that aura, any leaks in that area. Encapsulate that area. And while you're doing that, Raphael, let me speak with the higher self. How does it look now? It's light. Very good. So will she be able to express herself now? Yes. Very good. Thank you so much for allowing that today. You're welcome. Would you take a look at her left foot and tell her what's going on with her left foot? Is that Albert? Mm-hmm. Albert's there. It's black. Mm-hmm. Is that Albert who's in the, in the foot? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, Albert, we're going to get you out of that foot. I'm going to bring my the energy up. Bring it up, 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 up. Bring it up as it comes closer to you. Go ahead and express yourself, Albert. Well, what have you doing? Been doing there in her foot? It's been there. Mm -hmm. Why did you not go to the light, Albert? Why are you in her left foot? Still wanted to be there. Mm. Albert, do you realize that you're just a different aspect of her? I didn't. Mm. What have you caused her by being in that foot? It hurts. It hurts. What hurts, Albert? Tell me. My foot. Mm-hmm. My foot hurts. Mm-hmm. 
How did it hurt? Injured. You were injured. Okay. So, Albert, how did you injure your foot? An accident. An accident. What happened? Something fell on it. Okay. Did you die with that foot hurting? Or did it kill you? It just damaged. Mm hmm. It damaged the front of my foot. Okay. Like it was completely damaged. Okay. Like, did it get cut off by any chance? Not cut off, but completely ruined. Mm -hmm. So, Albert, let's go back to that lifetime. I want you to go back to that lifetime, to where that happened, that accident happened. I want you to be there. And let's do some healing on that foot. I want you to allow that healing to happen in that foot. A barrel fell on it. A barrel fell on it. Okay. All right. So it injured your foot. Do you need to continue to have that foot hurting you, Albert? No. All right. So let's go back there. And I want you to use your all of your senses, all of your powers. You are connected with the light, are you not? Yes. Mm -hmm. I want you to use the energy from the light to heal your foot. Use the energy from the light. Heal that foot. Little by little, I want you to grow all of those nerves back. I want you to see that foot getting better and better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tell me what's happening. It's getting its color back. Mm -hmm. oh. Wiggling my toes. Mm -hmm. Very good. I have hairy toes. Mm -hmm. Tell me when you get complete feeling your toes. It feels good. Very good. All right, Albert. So you don't need to be part of her life anymore, do you? No. All right. So, Albert, go ahead and release all of that attachment to that foot. You don't need to be attached to that foot anymore, do you? All right. Go ahead and go back to the light. And as you do, we will allow her to heal her own foot. May the light of the universe accompany you, Albert. Thank you. Thank you. So, let me speak with the higher self again. Okay. Thank you very much. So, it seems that... In that lifetime, Albert had issues with his feet, and he died with that still on his mind. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. How's it going to affect her now? It shouldn't. Mm-hmm. He's healed his foot. Yep. Very good. Can you see what's going on with uh, the cold sores? What's causing them? He started there when she was young. Mm-hmm to make her feel bad and small. Mm -hmm. To feel separate. Who caused the cold sores? Who's behind it? Is this something she's doing to herself that she created? more susceptible. She's sensitive. Mm -hmm. What are the cold sores supposed to tell her? What's the message? It's to speak the truth no matter what. Mm -hmm. So now that Hayes is gone, 
Would that be helping her speak her truth? Yes. Mm hmm Did Hayes have anything to do with the cold sores? Yes. Okay. So that was the that was the issue. She wasn't speaking her truth and he wasn't allowing it. Mm hmm So there was kind of like a little conflict going on there. It was an extension of his okay. influence. Mm hmm Would you do some healing on her now? So that she doesn't have to deal with that anymore. Mm-hmm. Okay. And tell her what you're using. Light. Light. Very good. Golden light. Beautiful. Thank you so much. And let me know when I could ask the next question. Very good. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else that I could have asked that I haven't asked today? I think we answered the, the thing about her energy levels. She wanted to increase them. It's a matter of intention. Okay. So set the intention to have more, more energy? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Is there anything else you'd like to tell her? It's on the right path. Wonderful. Excellent. Thank you very much. Wide awake now. Feeling wonderful all over. Wow. <laughs> How are you feeling? Good. What do you remember? Yeah, all of it. Yeah? Mm hmm Yeah. How long do you think that you were on this journey? Mm, maybe okay. an hour. Close to two. Right. That's so weird. <laughs> Doesn't feel like that long, huh? Mm, no. You went through a lot. <laughs> now that you've gone through it, what do you think? Mm. Um, yeah, I don't feel surprised. Um, you had a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Swimming through space. Uh huh. In a really strange, strange uh, spacecraft. Mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> with the guy with the sideburns. <laughs> sideburns. <laughs> yeah. Swimming through the ocean as a merman. Mm hmm. <laughs> on a ship. Mm hmm. And living peacefully. Mm hmm. Yeah. It was... And then going to Jupiter, getting a message. Mm hmm. <laughs> that was funny. Pretty yeah. wild, huh? <laughs> it's going to take a while for you to process this, mm -hmm. you know, because it's a lot of information. Mm -hmm. you, were, you went through a lot. <laughs> and, you know, sometimes it's like, it's an overload. It's like a mm. sensory overload. Yeah, it doesn't feel overloaded. No? You feel mm. good? You feel comfortable? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It seemed rather... Um, Normal for you? <laughs> kind of, yeah. Well, it was just peaceful, really. I mean, it was... There was nothing really particularly traumatic going uh, on. What about your throat? Does That's that make sense? Sure, yeah. I mean, yeah, nice to address it or talk to it. Yeah, you know. it seems like it was trying to block you that you were holding. Mm -hmm. And that's why you kind of kept mum about a few things. Yeah, yeah. And your, and your foot, that was, <laughs> that was Albert. Mm -hmm. that had a, a barrel fall in his foot and never healed from it mm -hmm. yeah so this is where this is where the situation where a past life bleeds into this life so being that he could never heal from that it was like hey mm -hmm. you know this is why i'm here this is what it is it's not that it's an attachment it's like this is part of the of the reason why you were 
feeling that. Mm -hmm. You know, you could never heal. It was Mm -hmm. like your toes were never healing because of him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. (laughs) So now what are you going to tell your friends? (laughs) Wow. I'm sure sure you're in for more. (laughs) (laughs) Pretty good. (laughs) So, um, is this something that you want to share? You want to keep private? Um, I'm sure it seems shareable. It's, yeah. Yeah, I would take out the, the private stuff. You know, yeah. Private questions. But I thought mm-hmm. the past lives were pretty yeah. pretty interesting. Especially yeah. the the little blobs from Jupiter. I know. That was weird, huh? Uh, yeah. What do they look like to you? Um, they, <laughs> they were sort of a, like a fleshy color, but they were also... Um, what did they look like? This is a hilarious comparison. They look like gnocchi. <laughs> 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 like little gnocchi, but they, each, <laughs> each of them were like sitting in a little little tiny chair with little tiny Did controllers. Did they have any eyes or anything? No eyes, but they were banded around the middle, like rib, really? ribbed in the middle. Really? Mm-hmm. Unbelievable, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Strange creatures that we have uh-huh. out there. And they yeah. had a message for you. Yeah. <clears throat> so it's pretty interesting. Yeah. So here we are. There we are. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So tell me about your experience. How did you, how, now that you've kind of thought about it a little bit um I, I can't say that I'm surprised actually <laughs> <You know? laughs> I, I, I mean I feel like a lot of these tell people things that they maybe already yeah. know well you've been watching these for a while right so what do you think now compared to what you've seen um I think it just gives you uh, permission to not filter things Ooh. um <laughs> you know <laughs> <laughs> what did you expect from the before you came I tried not to expect anything okay um uh and I know you were you were like the whole time was like I'm making this up I'm making this up I'm making this up oh you know? interesting yeah, yeah I mean kind of it's like I think if this was from like Little Mermaid <laughs> 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 yeah, but yeah. then you kind of allowed yourself to, you know, after that you you kind of allowed yourself to try something different. It seemed like you. Well, I think that you that I think what happens is that things that we've seen in life mm-hmm. are familiar mm-hmm. and we resonate with them, right. and so then it's like this loop of what do we think we're. <laughs> is it real? Is it not real? Yeah. But it seemed like it, you know, when you were saying, well, here's this guy with the with the webbed hands and. Mm-hmm. No hair and uh-huh. kind of looking at Vivian. I mean, you did you actually see this or did you feel it? Or? Yeah, no, I could see so that. So that face. was different. That was not. That was different. That was not a no. Your normal no. So what did it look like? What um, it was very very round, round and, face and and um scaly, mm. and then there were um like spine, not spines, but like the way a fish has a ridge, a, ah, a, like a look kind at of that. ridge. Uh huh. And um, nostrils, like holes, nostril holes. Wow. Like so not very good looking. No. <laughs> <laughs> so if you saw it, it would kind of like freak you out. Maybe it wasn't like sinister, but it wasn't attractive. Okay. All right. <laughs> and it was greenish. Uh huh. Yeah. Mottled and greenish, brownish, and bluish. Depending. On wow. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it looked like he was around the ship, so it, it, yeah. it seems to be someone that lives in the ocean. Yeah, he was circling the ship and looking at it. So do you think by what you felt that maybe this is something that still lives in the ocean? Um, Like now? Mm-hmm. Hmm, hard to say. It was, I mean, it was in the, it, it was the past. Was in the past, but it feels like. Because you were able to go really deep. Yeah. And no, and, and the... the the temperature didn't affect you. Mm. No, it was just, yeah, that's just where I was. Cool. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're my third mer person. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is the first merman. Merman. I heard mermaid. <laughs> so, uh, where, where are you from? So, tell me. Seattle. 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 Mm-hmm. So, we have, we have a whole group of Seattle people. Sure do. Yeah. So, that'll be cool. <laughs> and that means I'm going to be going to Seattle yep. sometime, too. <laughs> So it's been a request. <laughs> it's been requested. So if you would like a session with me, uh, either Miami or somewhere else, uh, make sure to contact me, albawyman.com. I do travel. Uh, I will be traveling uh, to quite a few places. And you can look uh, to see on my out-of-town page, 
where I'll be going to next. You could click on one of the pictures and you can sign up for that city if there's availability. All right. So thank you for watching and we'll see each other again soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs>